As we take you home on the edge, we enjoy giving you lots of information. And at this point in time, it's time for the legal landscape. For Jamaicans who have the privilege of owning registered land, a land title is prized possession. So landowners often safeguard their land title by placing it in a location which they believe is secure. However, there are times when a title goes missing, whether as a result of being mislaid, stolen or destroyed in a catastrophic event. Thankfully, though, there is an avenue through which a lost or destroyed title can be replaced. And attorney at Duncox, Christina Brown, is our guest to speak on the topic replacing your lost or destroyed duplicate certificate of title. Thank you for joining us, Christina. Thank you for having me, Dion. Happy to be here. Oh, good to have you. Good to have you. You know, it's the holidays and rain has fallen and there can be so many reasons why. But you're here to enlighten us. So tell us, who can make an application for a replacement title? Okay, well, an application can be made by the registered owner of land, which could either be an individual or a company. If the registered owner is deceased, then the application could be made by the personal representative, either under a grant of probate or letters of administration. An applicant could also be a mortgagee exercising powers of sale or a purchaser under a registrable instrument of transfer. Can you walk us through the procedure to apply? Sure. Okay, so the procedure involves making an application to the Registrar of Titles. We call it a lost title application, and it takes the form of a statutory declaration that is signed by the applicant. Now, because it's a statutory declaration, that the applicant's signature must be witnessed by a justice of the peace in the case of someone residing here, or if the person resides overseas, it would be witnessed by a notary public. And then that application is submitted to the Office of Titles with appropriate fees. The, the information that we need to, to process as well, that we need to put forward, what information should the application contain? Okay, so the basic information would include the details of the applicant, also a description of the land, the market value of the land and any improvements as well. And you also want to include details surrounding the circumstances of the loss. So, for example, when, where and how the loss occurred, where the title was being kept and by whom, when and where the title was last seen, if someone else had access to the title, you'd also need to state that. What searches have been made and with what result? Also, whether the title was deposited as security for a loan with a financial institution. And um, it should also contain an undertaking to deliver up the missing title if it ever comes into your possession. There are other details, but those are the, the, the critical ones, mm-hmm. right? Uh, well, critical basics. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, do we have documents that we have to submit as well with a lost title application, Christina? Yes, there are supporting documents which will vary depending on the facts of each case. So let's say, for example, the title was lost or destroyed in a fire and a fire report was made, then you would need to submit a copy of that fire report. Also, if the title was stolen and it was reported, then a copy of the police report would also be submitted. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm I'm trying to think like a listener now. Uh, (laughs) Can I still deal with or dispose of my land if the title is lost? Yes, you actually can still deal with your land, even if your title is lost or destroyed. So, for example, if you wish to lodge a particular dealing for instance, a transfer, then you can simultaneously lodge a document to register that dealing at the Office of Titles along with the lost title application. And um, on the application form, what you would need to do is to request that the registrar dispense with the production of the title in order to register that particular dealing. Our guest is Christina Brown, attorney at Duncox, and we're looking at replacing your lost or destroyed duplicate certificate of title. 
a very important question I think our listeners want me to, to, to ask you as well to explain is how soon will I receive my new title after submitting the application? <laughs> okay, so assuming that your application has been accepted by the Register of Titles, you will be directed to advertise the application in a local newspaper. And uh, the usual advertisement is once per week for two successive weeks in a, in a newspaper. And then you will need to submit the pages of the advertisements to the Office of Titles along with final fees for further processing. And then after 14 days from the publication of the last advertisement, your old title will be cancelled and a new one will be issued. Mm. Well, then what if I find my title while in the process of making this lost title application? Well, if your missing title is located before the new title is issued, then you should inform the title's office immediately so that the application can be discontinued. But if the title is located after the new title is issued, then pursuant to the undertaking that you would have given in the lost title application, you will need to submit the old title to the title's office immediately for cancellation. Okay. Well, I, I think I've asked all the questions <laughs> that I can think of on this topic. Okay. I'm um, replacing your lost or destroyed duplicate certificate of title. I hope I've covered everything for you. Is there anything you want to add or can you give us a hashtag? Well, did you know? Well, I, just just a closing point. Um, if you find yourself in the position where you need, to, you need to apply for a replacement title, we usually recommend that you retain the services of an attorney at law to assist you with preparing the application. Don't try, to, try and do it yourself, even though you can. Mm-hmm. Go mm-hmm. and speak with an attorney. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you so very much. Sure. And there's just one in um you uh, you had asked for a hashtag. I don't have a yes. hashtag, but just just um a fun fact. I might be stating the obvious, but if a person makes a fraudulent declaration in order to obtain a title in their name, then that person will be liable to criminal prosecution. So that's something to bear in mind. Mm. So I guess the, the the reason for having a lawyer is necessary. Eh? It is. <laughs> Make sure to and, minimize. And the reason and the reason for needing to apply for a, a replacement title must, of course, be legitimate. Mm. All right. Well, listen. Thank you so very much. Um, You're welcome. For, for for today and the legal landscape. You're always here helping us with some great information, and we look forward to having you next week as well too. Thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure, Dion. Have a good evening. A pleasure. Attorney at Duncox, Christina Brown, our guest today, speaking on the topic, replacing your lost or destroyed duplicate certificate of title.